Paul McCartney is coming to Israel. Nice. But our next report will be about a less renowned musical group who came to Israel. Less renowned, but in essence, and I don't want to insult the McCartney fans, much more inspiring. Let's meet the Humble Kings Project. And we represent a group of, of youth in America that, that really love Israel, and we found that this was an effective way of showing support. American musicians come to perform in Israel, sell tickets, and mostly go home with a decent income. The Humble Kings Project came here for a total different reason. They came to perform on the most far-flung stages in Israel. The members of the band toured military bases across Israel to boost morale among the troops. It's very important to show support in a way that um, reflects the age of the people serving the Israeli army. In America, we feel like we need to do more volunteer work to um, help the soldiers out. And in America, 18, 19, 20, you're having fun, you don't have the, the responsibilities that these kids have. To, they're responsible for the lives of, of the people that live here, they're responsible for the safety of the whole country. It took us a whole year to get here to tell you that you guys did great. There's no Air Force like your Air Force in the whole world. Part of Israeli culture is the army. Almost everyone in the country, everyone you look at at one point did the army. They knew, so there's a common bond that you can't experience unless you've been in the army. This is already the second year Humble Kings Project visited Israel. Last year they were on their own. This time they were joined by the Nachal Military Musical Band. They're English speakers with original songs. We thought that if we perform together with them, it will help to connect to the soldiers. We did original music that we wrote specifically for the soldiers, a mix of rock and trance and reggae, a lot of energy. We did actually two songs together, well, two songs from Israeli artists together that, that was covers, and the soldiers really, really enjoyed that. It's something very valuable that Jewish musicians from the other side of the world come here to do music with soldiers. The Humble Kings Project is the official band of the Israel Service Organization, which provides a vital boost in morale for the soldiers in the IDF. In addition to the musical support, the ISO organizes letter campaigns and other morale-boosting programs in conjunction with major corporations and schools worldwide, which enable people from all over the world to show their much-needed support for the troops in the IDF. These are young men and young women who are very astute. And what they really need is to feel that they have the support of Am Yisrael, of the Jewish people. And the way that you get that support in a way that nobody else can do it is what the ISO is doing, which is to use the most universal mode of messaging, which is something that touches everybody's heart and everybody's soul, which is music. Music is able to do things and, and to heal breaches that nothing else can do because what it does is it warms the heart and it warms the soul. And it's something that they desperately need, and the ISO has the ability to do it. Soldiers come up to us after the shows, they're crying, ask us, how did you guys come to us? Told us last week we had a difficult week, fighting soldiers, last week was terrible, next week's going to be terrible, how did you guys come to us? And we say, well, we, we know we need to come to you guys because we want to make sure that you guys are as strong as possible. But I've slept on the bases, and uh, I can talk about that and talk about what it's like to eat the food and kind of, at least for a little bit, live like a soldier. So I feel that now I understand I understand more and, and that I have a stronger connection so that when I do make Aliyah, I'll, uh, I'll feel right at home here. Eventually down the line, of course, I plan to make Aliyah. I'm a Jew. I believe that all Jews should live in Israel. And down the line, I'll make Aliyah.